Unemployment is defined as a situation in which people are willing and able to work, but unable to secure any job. The issue of graduate unemployment is skyrocketing in many countries. The graduates from public universities earn less than what is expected for bachelor's degree students. For instance, the OECD reported that 25% of the graduates in England and North Ireland were employed at a lower level of education. It is a waste for a nation since the talents are not being fully utilized up to the maximum capacity. This issue was further enlightened when the COVID-19 pandemic hit the world in the early quarter of 2020. Due to the movement control order, some firms have difficulties in paying their workers' salaries. It results in a retrenchment of workers to minimize operational costs. There are also cases of freezing new hiring. Hence, this pandemic worsened the economic situation. The rates of graduate underemployment and graduate unemployment are rising. Graduate unemployment falls under one of the four types of unemployment which is frictional unemployment. It is caused by the temporary transition in workers' lives including the fresh graduates' transition from university to the labor industry. Chinese adults in their 20s are having difficulty finding work, which it was a trend that began before COVID-19. According to CNBC, the unemployment rate for 16 to 24-year-olds in Chinese cities was 13.1% in February this year, more than double the national figure. And according to CGTN, the epidemic hit China's employment market hard last year, with prominent employment tool boss reporting a 56% increase in applicants and a 22% fall in demand year over year. Despite the virus being mainly under control in China for the better part of 2020, the unemployment rate for recent graduates remains unchanged from the peak of the outbreak. In 2019, 13.52 million new urban employment were created, down from 13.61 million in 2018. This is a concerning statistic, given that the number of college graduates entering the workforce continues to rise, with 9.09 million predicted in 2021. Premier Li Keqiang emphasized the need of recruiting graduates for societal stability as the previous record of new graduates joining the employment was projected to be surpassed in 2017. The government had requested that local governments encourage students to seek employment in growing industries or start their own firms at the time. His remarks, however, did not address the elephant in the room, the unemployed. Many university graduates believe their options are limited, and they have difficulty finding work at all. We can see that, although China's economy is expected to grow this year, problems with unemployment and underemployment are still largely experienced by fresh graduates. One of the core problems is the lack of desirable and well-paying jobs for university graduates. China's economic recovery has largely been contributed by blue-collar sectors such as manufacturing, on which the Chinese economy relies heavily on. This problem of lacking jobs equivalent to one's academic qualification has led to the government encouraging students to stay in college to continue with postgraduate studies. China's Ministry of Education announced that it would order universities to expand the number of master's candidates by 189,000, 25% increase to, in to ease the unemployment. Undergraduate slots would also increase by more than 300,000. This means more and more people are enrolling in universities. However, many Chinese are worried that increased university enrollment and number of graduating students will heighten already tough competition for jobs. The value of advanced postgraduate degrees might also dilute. The government is just postponing a future unemployment crisis. Therefore, it is clear that encouraging people to stay in universities will eventually not solve unemployment effectively. For now, let's move to Singapore. According to today's online news, on COVID-19, there has been an increase in fresh grads part-time, while temporary positions as full-time roles decline, but total employment is growing. In the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, more than a fifth of fresh graduates from Singapore's public universities took part-time or temporary jobs last year, more than trebling the proportion in 2019. 
As the employment market was affected by the pandemic, those in full-time permanent positions fell sharply from 81.7% in 2019 to 69.8% last year. These are some of the findings from a survey that was conducted in 2020. The survey analyzed the employment situation of 11,800 fresh graduates. About 93.6% of the graduates who took part in the survey were employed, a little increase from 90.7% in 2019. So, how do they revive this situation? According to Manpower Minister Josephine Teo, she said they are looking at ways to reach out to graduating students who haven't found work yet and connect them with opportunities. She did say that they have launched the SG United Traineeship Program which is part of the government's new strategy to assist individuals in finding work. Despite the economic effects of COVID-19, NTU graduates continue to shine out in a very competitive employment market both domestically and internationally. Even in developed countries such as Japan, unemployment issues among university graduates are inevitable. Increasing educational attainment has not been able to ease the unemployment problems among the recent graduates in the country. According to Statista Research Department on the share of new university graduates who were employed in Japan from 2011 to 2013, the unemployment rate among them has been decreasing until 2018. However, the percentage of unemployment is more than 20% every year, which is still relatively considered a high amount. About 77.7% of new university graduates in Japan secured regular employment in 2020 compared to 78% in 2019. Clearly, unemployment has started to rise in the recent years in Japan. The Internet of Things has potential to make tasks more efficient and cope with labor shortages by removing the human element. The rapid decline in the labor force in Japan creates a powerful incentive for automation. Japan is no stranger to coping with limited resources and has been a leader in technological development. Automation and robotics aided to replace or enhance human labor are familiar concepts in Japanese society. The gap in productivity growth between the manufacturing and services sectors in Japan is extremely wide. By contrast, the services sector, which accounts for 75% of GDP, has seen little annual productivity growth. Labor productivity has roughly tripled since 1970 in manufacturing but improved by only about 25% in the non-manufacturing sector. Japan's progress in automation use of robots and integration of artificial intelligence with daily living is likely to move at a faster pace than in many other advanced economies can contribute to software. Overall, unemployment is described as a scenario in which people are ready and capable of working but are unable to find work. The major cause of unemployment among fresh graduates are lack of employability skill, being too picky about jobs, demanding a high wage, and rapid technology advancement that change the demand for labor work. When there are not enough jobs for everyone, there is a lot of rivalry among fresh graduates to acquire a job. The problem will worsen when pandemic COVID-19 strike the world in the first quarter of 2020. Some businesses are having difficulty paying their employees' salaries. It leads to a retrenchment of staff in order to reduce operating expenses and a freeze on new employment. If the problem persists, it is a waste of a nation's capability since they are not being used to their greatest potential. To lower the unemployment rate among fresh graduates in China, the government encouraged them to pursue postgraduate courses. This approach will not fix the problem, instead it will lower the value of advanced postgraduate degree. Here, the government must play a significant role and place greater emphasis on how to address this issue by referring to other nations and attempting to learn from their solution, such as Singapore. Even while full-time job opportunities are declining, people can still find temporary jobs. In Singapore, the SD United Traineeship Program is launched as another way for assisting individuals in obtaining jobs. Whereas China, the government had recommended local governments to encourage fresh graduates to pursue work in growing industry or to start their own businesses at the time. Hence, it is up to each country's government to take a different method to dealing with the problem.